Hey gorgeous soul, welcome to your monthly October astrology. This month, the film's a little bit different. I'm taking you on a journey through the magical and surreal Faroe Islands and uh, you can share the wonder of the Faroe Islands while we talk about the wonder of October. It's passionate, it's full of intrigue and it's all about balance and power. Here's your monthly astrology. Sagittarius, you are coming to the end of a cycle. And this whole month is about learning from the journey that you've been on and also opening up your intuition and not falling into negative patterns. This is a time where, well, you, on the one hand, you're feeling great because Pluto is going direct and you're feeling more secure. You might have had a lot of issues recently that made you, or made you, or you felt insecure and you're, you were triggered by certain emotional experiences and you were like, well, oh, I don't feel safe, I don't feel safe. Possibly you felt like that. Do let me know in the comments below. But now you are feeling more grounded. In fact, you may think I have to change certain things in my life to create a, a security I don't have. And you were given the answers already. So really get on with it. Um, but you're also super magical at the moment. And this month you are likely to have strange, spooky and wonderfully mysterious experiences happening. You've got Mercury... Um, going into your 12th house so when you connect with people you, it's almost like you're you're a psychic and even if you are a psychic you're 10 times more psychic but you bump into people and you sort of sense things under the surface you pick up their emotions you pick up what they're feeling and you're kind of merging with people mars is also making you very sociable other people love you, you you're a real team player you have the energy to do so much when it comes to teams and getting getting your energy together if you've got a big project on, if it's about sort of connecting with the whole in some way or even doing something online, you know, you've got that. You just go, go, go. Your, your battery is really charged for that. Venus going into your 12th is making you crave a deeper intimacy, a gentler intimacy. You want soul connections. You want, you know, fairy lights and and magic and leprechauns. I made that last bit up. You don't really want leprechauns, but you want you want things that are not of this world you want the otherworldly experiences and you're likely to get it look out for past life connections although as i always say to people when you do meet a past life connection it's obviously uh, meant to teach you something and it can be a very difficult thing not the fairy tale that's uh, pointed out in the fairy tales anyway <coughs> you are going through a, a, a time of a peak of maybe joyful time and expressing great happiness and creativity on the full moon. There should be a lot of laughter on that day. Uh, or if you're really unhappy, you might be unhappy, but then you have a revelation about how to be happy and, and where to find your bliss. And an excellent day on the 14th as the sun is sextiling your sign. I mean, sextiling Jupiter in Sagittarius. So you're like, yeah. There should be a bit of good fortune when it comes to connecting, networking, or joining forces with people. It's a very good vibe for that. So get out and about if you can on the 14th. Beware, though, that sun is square Pluto, but it may be a little bit of a power struggle, but you can handle it with your good grace. Mercury's also trying Neptune on the 16th. You'll have a little psychic revelation about something to do with your family. Then the sun enters Scorpio in your 12th house on the 23rd. I mean, all I could say is it's super psychic and super mysterious. Strange things are going to happen, but hopefully pleasant ones. And the new moon is taking you to the next level when it comes to your psychic ability. You're opening up to trusting your instincts. You're opening up to feeling that you have to follow your soul now. You can't mess about. And with Mercury and Venus in that sign, wow, there's a lot of merging and soul connecting to be done this month. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon.